Hello friends, welcome back to the most tempting, traumatic, and yet highly enjoyable series on Flosstube, Nashville Shopping List. Thank you for keeping me company all the way to Nashville. As of today, we are eight days away from hopping in that car and hitting the road, friends. But this plane is descending, Nashville is in sight, so please buckle your seatbelts, keep your trays in the upright position, and no smoking? If you've enjoyed this series, I would really love it if you could give me a like and possibly subscribe to my channel. The series has been so enjoyable that it has sparked, it has sparked many other great creative ideas of content that I could make for you that are a little bit outside of the traditional floss tube update. So stay on the plane. We'll see what happens. Last week's giveaway question was, what did you do for Valentine's Day? And the winner was randomly chosen, and it is Lynn Magidimer 9019 who said her husband took care of dinner on Valentine's Day and she had an MRI on her back. Hope everything is good with your back, Lynn, but maybe a little shopping therapy would help. So you get $25 to Lindy Stitches for your Nashville um, budget donation. <laughs> Let's do another Nashville budget donation of $25 to lindystitches.com. In the comments, tell me, if your life was a country song, what would the title be? That giveaway question comes to you from Jason, who found me staring at the wall, completely unable to come up with a good giveaway question. So if your life was written as a country song, what would the title be? I'm just having one of those days, and so, I titled my country song, Old Ratty Threads Wagging Through the Wind. If anyone would like to write that song for me, be my guest. Like I said, we're descending into Nashville, but if you thought it would be without turbulence, think again, because in this video we have Summer House Stitchwork, Stacy Nash, Tellen Emblem, Plum Street Sampler, Satsuma Street, Fox and Rabbit, and Carriage House. So make sure you're hydrated. Let's start off with Beth Seal from Summer House Stitch Works. I think Beth has such a classic, elegant style to her designs. Like I could see them in my, um, <laughs> what, I don't, eclectic uh, way of decorating, but also in a really refined like antique cabinet. She's just very classy. Uh, the first one is The Greatest of These, number one, so assuming this is going to be a series. This is Faith, and it reminds me of her four-colored seasonal patterns that she had. Those were very popular. I love those. They're so... they look so fun to stitch. I need to stitch one of them. But this one has the color bands going horizontally, and I just think this would be a lot of fun to stitch. It's, let's see, very reasonably priced at only $10. It's $119 by $89, so, you know, it'll keep you busy for a while, but it's not going to be lingering in your whip pile forever. It's stitched on some 40 count milk and honey by Fiber on a Whim using some DMC, only three colors, so easy to kit up. Absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to see the, what else is in that series. Next up is called <laughs> Lucky Charm. This is so stinking pretty. I love it. It's 89 by 89, stitched with Weeks Dye Works on, on more milk and honey from Fiber on a Whim. This is so pretty. I just love the colors. So obviously a little bit March and Irish themed, but, and those are four leaf clo clovers, okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good! Lucky Charm by Summer House Stitch Works. Last up is the Fragments and Time series for 2024. We have the first two offerings, and it looks like this will be a house-themed house themed series because it's both of the models are houses and she's also taken the picture on top of pictures of houses. So if you like stitching houses, this Fragments in Time is for you. Fragments in Time are super collectible, super affordable. Each pattern is only $6, and the whole series follows kind of the same color palette, so you can put them all together, you can stitch them separately, but they're quick stitches as well, only 51 by 51. Um, and she gives you a free border pattern on her website, 
and if you want to lay them out the way she has, the whole piece would be 245 by 125. But you can look at all the details about those on our website. They're super cute. We have this log cabin, and I'm loving the color palette that she chose. And then we have this big salt box looking house with all the little windows and the trees. Very cute. So if you're interested in the Fragments in Time series for 2024, it gets off with a bang at Nashville. Next up, a designer who causes complete conniptions in the cross-stitch world. It's none other than Stacy Nash. <laughs> when I opened Stacy Nash's email, it went on and on. So let's get started. First up, she is adding not one, not two, but three installments to her popular Animal Crackers series, and they've been causing heart palpitations throughout the cross-stitch world. Let's start with Maggie Mae. And what is there to say about Maggie Mae? I could write a poem about her. She's absolutely adorable. Wow. So all the animal crackers uh, come with not only the cracker pattern, but also a little accessory to go with them, kind of like American Girl dolls or something. I mean, <sighs> there's just not the words for the animal crackers. Maggie May is one is 55 by 116, so not huge. All of the animal cracker series are stitched with Weeks Dye Works threads. You could, of course, stitch them in DMC. But look at Maggie May's adorable little yellow sweater. I cannot deal. Her radish, her little radish accessory. What in the world? Next up, we have Miss Hazel, this delightful squirrel in a sweet little pea coat with her fluffy tail. I cannot take it. Miss Hazel is 105 by 61. Oh. Lastly, in the animal crackers, we have Bobbin, this adorable little mouse with his needle and his uh, strand of floss and his little berry basket and just the way he's looking at me and his whiskers and his little tail. This, this is too much. It's just a crime. This is, this is a crime. Stacy Nash should be prosecuted. <sighs> Those were our three animal crackers. And if you have the heart to continue, there are two sewing bag patterns. Each one is... <sighs> is wonderful. This is the Federal Sampler sewing bag, and just the colors on both of these sewing bags are killer. Uh, stitched in all week's dye works. Uh, the pattern for the Federal sewing bag is 169 by 270, so that will keep you busy for a while, but look at this finish. It's gorgeous. The other sewing bag is called Caroline's Sampler sewing bag, and look at this one. Look at that house, it's so cool. And the birds sitting on top of the roof and that tree with the funky leaves. Yes! All Weeks Dye Works. This one is 186 by 288, so also would, you know, take some time. But of course, there's a lot of white space on the other side of the bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Next up, we have Mary Robard's Sampler Pocket. Uh, this is an adorable little project, worked all in red. This is Lancaster by Weeks Dye Works, and it's just a, a cute little sampler. It says, Mary Robarb Sampler wrought in the ninth year of her age, 1820. Love that border with the triangles on the bottom. Very pretty, tied with a red ribbon. <sighs> How about a Biscornu? You thought she was done? She's not done because we have Trumpet of the Swans Biscornu. This is so pretty. I absolutely love the colors. It's 115 by 115. Unlike some Biscornu patterns, this one does not have a bottom to it, so you can stitch it up even quicker if you want. If you wanted, you could stitch the same pattern twice and put put them together the way Biscornus work. Uh, it's just cute. I like it. It's pretty. The colors are nice. Continuing on, 
with Stacy Nash. Calling of the Sea pin keeps and pin disc. If you like whales, well, here you go. How about a patchwork whale? Who couldn't love a patchwork whale? <laughs> He's so cute. I love the little compass pin keep. Absolutely adorable. Uh, so this comes with all three patterns stitched all using Weeks Dye Works. Uh, we've got Antique Lace Linen by Seraphim and of course different stitch counts. This is such a cute summer set and that whale, I'm sorry, look at his smile. Irresistible. Next up, Tulip Fields Pin Keep. Look at this pillow. It's so pretty. It features a bird's nest in the middle. We have some very delicate flowers on the bottom, a rabbit. And look at the sides of this with those blue tulips. Who could resist? It's beautiful. Next up we have Le Poulet Pin Keep. And this is not what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, so this chicken themed pin keep we have no information on. Uh, Stacy hasn't released the picture yet, but she promises to on her social media. So we will get that up as soon as we see it. We don't have a stitch count. Um, would you believe that people have just been buying this? We have the price, so we threw it up so you can place your orders. And y'all love Stacy Nash so much, you don't even care. Okay. Lastly, are we actually on the last one? We're on the last one. Are you sad or are you relieved? <laughs> this is Ann Newton 1838. This is a sampler that's going to be available in Stacy's room. Okay. I need you to check out these ladies on the bottom of the sampler. They are wearing... Okay, two of them are wearing their best red striped jumpsuits and two of them are wearing these striped white dresses and Look, they're fashionistas. I don't care what anyone says. This house is absolutely amazing. I love it. And the fact that there are crazy birds in it. It's great. It's 350 by 332. We have Weeks Dye Works threads on some Week Dye Works linen. It's gorgeous. That was dramatic. So let's just shake it off. You might need to do some squats. Some armor circles. <sighs> do we have room in our hearts for more? Yes, we do. Let us continue with uh, a favorite of mine, Chrisanne from Talon Emblem. Chrisanne is a, a good seller on my website. You all love her unique style and her bird patterns. Here's what she's bringing to market. First up, we have Wildflower Welcome, and this is a chart that comes in two different colorways, so very cool. You could stitch it on black, you can stitch it on, of course, oh gosh, I'm just saying the same things over and over again. You can stitch it on whatever the heck you feel like stitching it on, but she gives you two different colorways, um, and they're both gorgeous. I love them. And it is completely two different colorways. It's not like the colors are repeated and they just changed, she just changed the bird color. Um, it's very cute. It's 123 by 75. Next up, this one is my favorite. I, it's just the colors. She has a skill with colors. And the other thing about Telone Emblem is she uses only DMC. And so very easy to cut up, but of course, if you wanted to use fancy floss, go on right ahead. This one is called Make a Monogram. Of course, it comes with a complete alphabet, but what I really love is it also comes with two different colorways. And this teal colorway with the orange butterflies is so good. I love this. It's 101 by 101, so, you know, not huge. You could make it for anybody. Next up by Tell an Emblem, a pair of squares. This is Peace and Joy, two holiday-based designs. Love them, love the colors. They're only 74 by 74, and you get both patterns in one pack. Lastly, we have Birdie and Basket Sampler, Winterberry. Chrisanne does some very sweet cardinal designs, and I just love the greens that she uses together, like the teal and the lime and the, like, the pine green all shoved into one. It looks fantastic. This design is 80 by 112 and you get the two 
or three Jabco buttons included. Those go in the middle of the greenery in the basket. Very cute. All right, let's take a deep cleansing breath. Because we gotta do Plum Street samplers. How about we go smallest to largest? So first of all, uh, we have Summer Glory and Spring Beginnings. These are both uh, these sweet little deer-based designs. Uh, this finishes up this series for Paulette. These are small. They're only 61 by 66. Very cute. So one of them is summer themed. It has a little flag in the corner. And one of them is spring themed. And we have this little lady and a very, very tall deer. Um, a tulip. It just, these are just really cute. Next up we have American Mermaid. Yeah, okay. So this is great. I don't know why I love that bottom, that bottom solid section is, is singing to me. And the mermaid on the roof, how did she get up there? Um, she's very patriotic. She has a flag. <laughs> she has a seagull. And she's really cute. She's only 54 by 71, stitched on some fiber on a whim linen using a variety of over dyes. Next up we have stars. This is very, very luscious in its colors. This is 110 by 110. It's stitched on some graham cracker fabrics. And if you like patriotic designs, here you go. You have an eagle on the roof with a rose. That's great. I think this one is my favorite of the Plum Street lineup for Nashville. This one is called Nelson. Paulette says, and my everlasting love for all things General Washington. Here we have his beloved war horse, Nelson. This is a companion to Blue Skin, um, which was another horse of George Washington's, and she released that in 2018. Uh, she says, while my version of Blueskin was designed with George's legend cherries, Nelson has been placed among magnolias and lilacs, both of which were known to grow on Mount Vernon plantation. The year 1776 on Blueskin was the year American declared its independence. Here on Nelson, we have 1783, and that is the year the Revolutionary War ended and the brave Nelson was retired to his cozy paddock at Mount Vernon. <laughs> Who doesn't love a jaunty horse pattern? This is 124 by 121, stitched on vintage homespun using a variety of over dyes. And it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. All right, I'm no longer sure if I'm going in order of size, but this is the Proverbs 31 sampler. It says, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Love the border on this one. Uh, it doesn't look very big. And I'm right, it's 115 by 115. So a nice square size, easy to frame, stitched on some R&R &R linen. And it's beautiful. Um, it looks like it would it would be a quick stitch. Of course, you've got that border, but the motifs in the middle aren't very big. Um, just very, very sweet. Next up, we have American Welcome. This one is gorgeous. We have the beautiful lake scene on the bottom with the little sailboats. We have some adorable houses to stitch, a pelican, some seagulls, a lighthouse. Very classy looking. It's 173 by 146 on some old Amana linen by Farm Girl Dry Goods. Last up, we have Flag Thief. <laughs> this one delighted me the moment I laid eyes upon it. It's so it's a little bit patriotic, but I love how charming this little lawn scene is with the rabbit stealing the flag and the fox giving chase. Um, it just has a very whimsical look. Even the little uh, stars placed over these really tall trees on the sides with the moon. It's so charming. So, so charming. And the colors just sing. It's 123 by 109, so not huge. This is so doable. Uh, we have classic color works and weeks dye works on some affogato linen. Flag thief. Okay, let's just all give it up. Let's all give it up for Paulette. 
Next up we have one of my favorite geniuses with color and a dear friend. This is Jody Rice of Satsuma Street. Now Jody has previously released these winter kits but she's letting us shops get a hold of some of them at market. Here are her four kits that we have up for pre-order on lindystitches.com. We have Cool Kid, this adorable little penguin. Calling Birds, my favorite, um, because who can resist a teal telephone? Not me. Uh, we have Santa Cruiser, and lastly, we have Lolly Claws. So these are uh, Jody's ornament kits. They come with everything you need to complete these little ornaments, and I know how many of you came to her free class at the Jingle Ball, so you know how to finish these. Uh, they're very reasonably priced at $16 each. You get the floss, you get a needle, you get the perforated paper, which is sometimes hard to get your hands on. Another lesson we learned at the Jingle Ball. Uh, but those are the kits by Satsuma Street. We also have her pattern called Winter Woods. This was her previously released uh, Winter Stitch Along. Look at how the colors sing on this piece. I love the little uh, scene in the top right corner. <sighs> The polar bear, the owl, the fox, the deer, um, just this is total color play. We love it. It's 142 by 142. Very beautiful. But then, especially for market, we have a new release and you all are loving this so far. This is called Funky Chickens. <laughs> and it's so, so great. Uh, so these chickens are obviously an interesting finish. Jody promises they're very easy to finish. She gives you illustrated step-by-step -step instructions and then templates for the little felt pieces under their chins and on their heads. Um, the pattern calls for Cosmo, but you can also use DMC, which is included in the chart. Uh, the chickens are 100 by 50 when you stitch them up, and the rooster is 120 by 60. And I... Uh, yeah... Yeah, I need these in my life. <laughs> All right, next up. So glad to satisfy you with some fox and rabbit because we kept getting messages. Where's the fox and rabbit? Where's the fox and rabbit? Where's the fox and rabbit? Well, here it is. So we have six offerings from Karen and Brent at Fox and Rabbit. First up is Dreaming of Daisies, a very sweet, but you 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 guys really love this one. I it's, it's been very interesting to me to put up a whole line from a designer, and of course I have my guesses on what is going to be the most popular, and I'm coming to find out I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> you really love this one. It's called Hope, Dream, Live, Laugh, Love, and it's 215 by 159, stitched on some, guess what, fox and rabbit. Using some color and cotton flosses, you have a DMC conversion. It's just very sweet. I really like how the colors go with that linen. Uh, very classy looking. Next up, we have the Nashville exclusive. This is called Where There Are Bees, There Are Flowers. I really like this one, and I cannot figure out what it is about it. It's very graphic. Um, it's... I don't... It's charming, and I'm like trying to figure out the reason why it's so charming, and I just cannot come up with it. But I really like it. It's 235 by 238, stitched on fox and rabbit salt bush using color and cotton. Uh, DMC alternates provided. I just really like this one. You can see how they diagonally stitch the roof uh, different ways on both sides. I really like when designers make use of variegated threads like that to like give some shape. It's just a it, and it's a lot of fun to stitch that way too. So that's where there are bees, there are flowers. Next up, more installments to their insect series. These literally glow. They are so bright and beautiful, especially when stitched on this dark linen. This is they come at night. Love it. I love the geometric element of how the moths are arranged. So, so pretty. The moon, um, it looks like a, like snowflakes. It's just really gorgeous. 185 by 185. This is stitched using DMC. Easy to kit up. And the companion piece to that is Queen of the Night. I wish I knew exactly what kind of... Is that a lunar moth? 
I'm guessing these are lunar moths, but I could be wrong. There's no uh, specification as to exactly what species these are, but they look exactly like lunar moths, so I will venture the guess. It's They're gorgeous. I love how the colors sing. Next up, we have a giant sampler, and boy is it interesting. I love this. This is Ann Harper, 1839. I love that floral garland right in the middle, how it swoops around and it's got those buds on it. Really, really pretty. Like the colors, it's 297 by 413, and it is an adaptation of an antique sampler. Absolutely gorgeous. I like how the border has different flowers in it. Those strange, like, vertically, vertical growing yellow flowers are very interesting. Love it. So Ann Harper is has a companion piece that is a pin drum. This pin drum comes with um, the little house motif of Ann Harper and two coordinating pillows. Really beautiful. Uh, the drum is 270 by 105. And yeah, that's Ann Harper. And that's the Fox and Rabbit lineup for your perusal. We have one more new design to look at, and then we need to have a little heart to heart afterwards. So don't jet off, uh, bear with me, my friends. But here is a new design from Carriage House Samplings. This is called Strawberry Dream. It's absolutely adorable. It's part of the Trudy's Kitchen series from Carriage House. It's 81 by 96, and like most Carriage House, I absolutely love it. <laughs> that is all Carriage House Samplings is offering at market um, because Marty has much more important family business to take care of. There's an important celebration and she's off to uh, do that. But Kathy is bringing this design for us to market. I can't believe we got through all of that. <laughs> Are you okay? Am I okay? I would like to give you a little piece of shopping advice. Yes, market does not happen until next week, but if you want something, you need to check out with that item. Whether you're shopping at my website or another website, check out. Um, the reason is we have pre-order deadlines happening every single day. Multiple designs, designers, give me your pre-order give me your pre-order, and that is the way we 100%, maybe 98%, barring some strange emergency, <laughs> uh, secure the fact that we will be able to get those designs from the designer. Um, so if you 100% want to make sure that you get the products that you want, you need to check out your shopping cart. Not putting pressure on you that you should spend a bunch of money that you shouldn't or anything like that. I'm just giving you some shopping advice. If you've kind of said to yourself, I'm just gonna keep trickling things into my cart and being indecisive until like March 5th or until March, you know, market starts, that might not work out for you for every single product in your cart. The reason is every shop has to kind of guess how many copies of this or that to order. And the only way we know for sure is if you've put your order in before the pre-order deadline. So I just wanted to let you know about that. I don't like anyone being disappointed or waiting on anything. We want to be able to get you 100% of the things that you want from market and pack it up as soon as we possibly can when we get home. So is this our last Nashville shopping list video? Maybe, I can't tell you for sure. I can let you know that there are some more surprises to come. There are things at market that we cannot anticipate until market begins. And so be sure you're following us on Instagram at Lindy Stitches and keep on checking that Nashville market um, shopping page on our website because we'll be updating that as market proceeds. We have enough manpower to both shop and to sort of keep keep you connected. And so follow us because we might do some fun things, might do a little vlogging, who knows? You know, I will bring you with me to Nashville, okay? This this relationship, um, now that we've been through uh, this traumatic and yet very fun series, we're bonded. You, you're not going anywhere, okay? So make sure you 
leave me a comment letting me know your title, the title of your country song, and I will have nothing but joy reading through them. Is it a comedy? Is it a tragedy? Does it have to do with pickup trucks and mowing the corn? I don't know. Tell me down below. I hate to bid you adieu, but it's not adieu because market ain't over till it's over. I will talk to you later, friends. Bye.